dear students welcome back to my channel now let us go for the male reproductive system see this is very important five marks question this diagram will be asked for five marks if you label it properly and if you write neatly then five marks will be awarded right now the male reproductive system is located at the pelvic region location of this male reproductive system is at pelvic region okay and this male reproductive system includes the parts such as the first is the pair of testes pair of testes second one is accessory ducts accessory ducts then the third one is accessory glands accessory glands and the fourth one is the external genitalia so these are the parts of the male reproductive system now let us study one by one the first structure is for a pair of testes see the testes are situated outside the abdominal cavity the testes are situated where the outside of the abdominal cavity and here the testes are located or protected in a pouch and that is known as what scrotum so scrotum is a pouch and where the testes are located then this scrotum is very much essential why because to maintain the low temperature of the testes the scrotum is very much useful in maintaining low temperature of the testes why low temperature is required for the testes that means in order to undergo the spermatogenesis spermatogenesis means the process of formation of sperms or development of sperms is known as spermatogenesis so for the formation of spermatogenesis that is sperms the low temperature is required and that will be provided by scrotum so what is the temperature which is required for the spermatogenesis is it is just minus 2 than that of the body temperature okay next coming to the shape of the testes you can look at it here the shape of the testes is oval in shape the shape is what oval and next the length is about 4 to 5 cm so this is the length and the width the width is about 2 to 3 cm and you can see here this is one testis and this is another one and each testis contains about 250 compartments here i have just written 3 or 4 but there are 250 compartments each testis contains what about 250 compartments and these 250 compartments are said to be the testicular lobules this 250 compartments are said to be what the testicular lobules and each lobule contains highly coiled structure okay each lobule contains highly coiled structure and that highly coiled structure 
in each compartment is said to be the seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules so seminiferous tubules are nothing else but the highly coiled structure found in the testicular lobules and in the seminiferous tubules the sperms are produced in the seminiferous tubules the sperms are produced so this is about the structure of testes next the wall of seminiferous tubule is made up of two types of cells
reproductive system. Now let us see the sperm pathway. See the seminiferous tubules of the testes. See this is the seminiferous tubules. And the seminiferous tubules of the testes open into the vas efferentia. Vasa efferentia or vas efferentia. Okay. And that is by retail testes. Okay. That is the seminiferous tubule opens into vas efferentia by retail testes. Then next from the vas efferentia, this is the vas efferentia, you can look at this diagram. From this vas efferentia, this vas efferentia leaves the testes. Okay, and it opens into epididymis. This is epididymis. This vas efferentia leaves the testes and opens into epididymis. Next, this epididymis opens into the vas deferens. This epididymis, this opens into vas deferens. Right? Then, next you can see this vas deferens ascends to the abdomen region and it loops over, this is urinary bladder and this loops over this urinary bladder. So, this vas difference, they will loops over urinary bladder in the abdominal region. Right? And next, it receives the ducts, this urinary bladder receives the ducts from seminal vesicle. See, this leaf-like structure is said to be the seminal vesicle it is important accessory gland and this opens into the urethra. Okay? Then the urinary bladder opens into urethra. Right? Next, this is also known as the ejaculatory duct. Okay? See, if it opens into the urethra, it opens as a ejaculatory duct. And this urethra Okay, originates from the bladder region. You can see here, this urethra originates from which region? This is bladder, bladder region and it extends through the penis. And there is one external opening here and that external opening is known as urethral matus. Okay, see here, this urethra extends through the penis and opens into urethral Matus. So, this is the sperm pathway through this accessory duct. And here, the four important accessory ducts which are involved is one is retail testis, second one is vas differentia, the third one is epididymis, and the fourth one is vas difference. This is about the accessory ducts. Now, let us go for the male accessory glands. Accessory glands. This accessory glands include paired seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle. So, this is the first gland. And the second one is prostate gland. Next.
calcium and certain enzymes the secretions are said to be what seminal plasma and it contains the fructose calcium and certain enzymes next the bulbourethral gland let us look at this bulbourethral gland this bulbourethral gland secretion this will help in the lubrication of penis bulbo urethral gland see this gland secretion helps in lubrication of penis next let us learn about this penis this is the male external genitalia this is what the male external genitalia and it is made up of a special kind of tissue and that special kind of tissue helps in erection that is by a special kind of tissue and why this is required that means for the insemination the erection of the penis is very much essential for the insemination process okay next see the enlarged end of this penis is called glans penis this enlarged end of this penis is called what the glans penis and see it is covered by a loose fold of skin and this loose fold of skin is known as foreskin so this is about the structure of penis next let us recall about the seminal plasma see the seminal plasma along with the sperm is said to be semen see this is a fluid then as for one month this is a slightly alkaline fluid and the ph of the semen will be from 7.2 to 7.6 slightly alkaline and it contains mainly sperms and along with the seminal plasma that means the male accessory gland secretion so i can call the sperms plus seminal plasma is equal to semen right this male accessory ducts this male accessory glands everything are maintained by the male sex hormone and that is androgens hope you have understood thank you